Hey guys, how you doing today? I want to show you these beautiful hydrangeas that I got at Walmart yesterday. These are Ruby Slippers Hydrangea. Bloom summer to fall. Now I've never bought any in um, these plastic slips before. I usually get them in, you know, the nursery containers. But they were $5.00. And I got two of them. I picked out two that had really good foliage coming off the front. Fo foliage? Foliage, I meant. But what I want to do is... I want to get these planted in my nursery containers. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this slip so you guys can see. I'm just going to cut right down the side here because I want to save one slip so I know that I'm going to lay her down. I've got a sharp knife. I'm just going to cut through those. Oh, there's like, oh, I just taped it all the way through. Careful here. I don't want to cut any roots or anything. There, now that is, I'll still tag it so I know what one it is, but they got them wrapped. I've bought plants like this before, I've just never bought a hydrangea. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to unwrap this paper from her. A lot of, most of the time when you buy, yeah, see. I kind of had a feeling that was what it was going to be. You can see all of the roots. Ooh, I hope I am not getting... Let me move my coffee before I end up drinking dirt. Which, I'm positive I've probably drank dirt more than once in my lifetime. But you can see all the beautiful roots. And then they've got her packed in another and what I'm gonna do is just peel it back these usually dissolve really easy they're just a real light paper but I'm just gonna peel it back a little bit but you can see she's in really good shape she's got a lot of roots but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep this is a real barky mixture and I've got you set her over here. I'm trying really hard not to break her. I've got my regular potting soil in the bottom of this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this. And I'm just going to kind of mix it up. I want to keep that mixture that they had her growing in. Let's see here. I'm going to do this a different way. Um, hold on. Okay, I got my gardening tub. I'm going to dump this in here, and then I'm going to woo, not drop my baby. I'm going to dump this in my tub. It's like I said, I want to keep the soil they had her in. It's like a barky mixture. And then I'm just going to mix that together. Probably gonna need a little more because that containers I'm putting her in is a gallon and I want to make sure she's got really good drainage what I'm gonna be doing is once I get them potted up I'm gonna put these out on my back porch both of these plants in a sunny window and let them keep growing until I can get them planted outside. So I'm just going to fill my gallon nursery container. And then 
That was a pretty good guess. I'm just going to stick her down in here. And I watered her really, really good last night. And then I'm going to add my garden fertilizer, which I use, uh, oh geez, sorry about that, I use the Espoma, and I'm just going to mix it in, and then finish filling her up. There. And then once I get her out on the back porch, I'll water this then. And then I also want to make a tag. And then I'll keep I'll keep that. So I know she's my ruby slippers. And then this is just planting instructions. It says remove plant from bag, remove all packaging and wrapping material from plant while planting hole is being prepared. Now this is telling you how to do it right outside. But of course I'm doing it in my pot for now because it's still cold to too cold to put her outside. And another thing now if I would have got this out of a greenhouse where they were already outside growing, I would go ahead and put her right outside. But I, where I got her from was at Walmart, and it was inside the building. So, I'm just going to put her on my back porch so she's not extreme cold. So, I'm going to plant my other one. And then I'm going to do the same with her. Cut the slip off. save that. I'm going to put that up so I don't get it all dirty. And I'm just going to save one. I'm not going to save both of these. So no need for it. I'll have them both marked so I know which ones they are. That they're my ruby slippers. And I am going to be... Now these are... These hydrangeas are plant in partial sun to shade. So these are going to be going on my north side over by where my ferns are. And they get morning sun. Whoop! There. I'm glad I held on to the top of that baby so she didn't fall and break. Getting rid of that. What a mess. Yeah, this is a really nice barky material. Growing materials, I think. Wow, this one's got more roots on it than the other one. Just gonna peel that back a little. And it's not on the bottom, so. Okay, I'm gonna lay her down. Get this all mixed up. I'm pressing my soil down just slightly, I'm not packing it. I'm going to make a hole, get my new baby in it, just breaking up that root memory just a little, not crazily, and I'm going to add more of my Espoma Garden fertilizer. Right now is a great time to fertilize your hydrangeas. 
And I'm just going to add She needs to be just a hair deeper. There we go. There. Now I'll just make tags for them. And then I will take them out on my back porch of my windowsill. I already have trays out there, a drip tray out there for them. And I am super excited to have these. I'm going to get rid of this. i got a trash can right down here. I've been using one of my old soil bags for a trash can in here because I've been doing so much repotting. Okay, now I'll make a couple tags and I'm just going to put on them the date, 2021, hydrangea, and she was called Ruby Slippers. So some of the hydrangeas can take full sun, and some of them like a more shady, part sun, part shade type of a situation. So I'm going to do the same thing with this tag, mark hydrangea, and then ruby slippers. And these are the only two I'm planning, and I know right where I'm putting them in part sun, part shade, so I'm not going to write on that. But I'll get them just a little bit watered in right now. Not going to go crazy because they are going to be going out into a cold, a colder environment, so I'm just going to water them lightly. There. Now I just want to make sure I'm going to press down here and get those roots covered up. I'm going to keep that dry. There. Press her down. Do the same. Put a little more fresh soil, kind of like you're mulching it. I actually wish I had some mulch. I'd put it on the top, but. This will be fine. Just trying to keep the roots protected at this moment. So, there we go. Beautiful ruby slippers, hydrangea. So pretty. I cannot wait for spring and I can take these guys out and get them in the ground. So, alright guys, that is it. That's all there is to it. I'm excited to see how these guys grow, and if you do have hydrangeas out in your yard already, um, the buds should be swelling on them, so it's time to get them fertilized. I already fertilized mine last week, and we had a, several nice days. I went out and fertilized them. I, don't, I didn't cut mine back yet. I wait a little while until I cut mine back. Uh, you know, trim the tops of them off and stuff. Because some, some of your hydrangeas grow on new wood, some grows on old wood. You just have to know what you have before you go pruning them. So make sure you know what you have and how to do it um, before you go pruning. So, um, alright guys, that is it. I will talk to you later. Have a great day. Bye. Peace. Show you a better picture. Isn't she beautiful? a pinnacle one so very pretty all right guys talk to you later bye